Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the highest string on a Harpeggi K24. This video shows me replacing the string pretty much in real time, so there's no significant editing or shortening. Here you can see my string is broken, so I'm going to look at replacing that. The first step is to take off the tuning cover. That reveals the tuning mechanisms. The next thing we're going to do is remove the old string. To do that, just use your turning, tuning wrench to loosen the bolt on top of the tuning mechanism. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the tuning mechanism all of the way. That will help when we put on the new string later. So we're just making it go as far up as possible so the string we can tighten it later to, to tune the string up. Alright, now we'll put a new string on. In this video I'm showing putting on a PLO7 string. I like the PLO7 because it has slightly less tension when you play it and I think it's a little bit easier to put on. However, Marcotti recommends an 8 for the K24 highest string. Once you have your string ready, one thing that I've started doing is cleaning the ball end of the string. I'm thinking about putting it on and thinking, oh, I should clean it. So to clean it, I just get a alcohol wipe. And then I'm going to open that up and I'm just going to wipe the end of the string, the ball end, that comes in contact with the electronics on the Harpeggi um, because occasionally I've had problems where the string will stay muted even when I play it. In other words, it doesn't make any sound through the electronics. Once you've got your string cleaned, you just thread it through the bottom of the instrument and over the bridge, as you can see here. Next step, we're going to do a lot of stretching on the new string because the new string is going to be under quite a lot of tension when it's on the top of the the top position on the instrument on the highest string. So to stretch it, to start, you can grab it with a pair of pliers and just pull on it. Another strategy for stretching it is to um, pull the string up from the instrument. That moment the uh, the string popped out of my pliers. So I have to go get it. Get it back again. There, I've got my string again. And I'm just going to loosen the bolt. I'm just stretching the string a little bit more just for fun. And then I'm going to thread it through in a moment. So first I'm cutting off the extra, a lot of the extra string. So I've got a manageable amount. Now I'm threading it through. The tuning mechanism, so it just goes under a little bolt. Okay, that's through now. Next step. Next step is to do some more stretching. I'm going to pull on it. Here, I was just curious if I could get it up to pitch by uh, pulling on it. Just curious how high I could get it to go with just pulling on it with my arm. And the answer was not high enough. So the next step is to stretch the string with the pliers while we use the tuning wrench to tighten the bolt that holds the string in place on the tuning mechanism. So we're going to pull pretty hard with the pliers and then we're going to tighten it just tight enough. 
You don't want to make it too tight because if it's too tight you can cut the string with the bolt. And if we make it just tight enough it will hold the string in place. Then once we've done that we start tightening the tuning mechanism to bring the string up to pitch. just deciding to look at tightening the bolt a tiny bit more. Now we're going to start tightening the tuning mechanism. Just do it, do it slowly. As you're tuning up, if the tuner gets all the way to the bottom, then you have a problem because you can't make the pitch any higher. And this time, we'll see if there's a little more room. I'm going to keep tuning, see if I can get it up to pitch. And we've bottomed out. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the string all of the way. Now we're going to take the pliers and we're going to pull back on the string to add, add the tension. We need to add more tension than last time. We're going to loosen the top, the bolt, so we can pull on the string and then we're going to tighten it again. Now we'll continue the procedure of trying to tune up the string. I think we're getting close. Maybe it's going to work this time. I felt like the string was slipping a little bit, so I tightened the bolt a tiny bit.
And then it's pretty close to pitch. Once you've got it pretty much where you want it, we just use the wire cutters to trim the end of the string, otherwise you'd have a pokey piece of string sticking out at you. It's important to do this after the other steps because it's harder to pull on the string to stretch it if this is already done. Then we're all done. We just put the cover back on. Probably after a day or so we'll need to retune that string. But we'll wrap up. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you.